everyone today the topic of our uh, live video is mixed number fractions the learning objective of this topic is recognize mixed numbers and improper fractions and convert from one form to the other and write mathematical statements which are greater than one as a mixed number first of all we will see the types of fractions we have two types what is proper and what is improper fractions a proper fraction is one where the numerator is smaller than the denominator and its value is less than one the example is in front of you 5 upon 9 5 is smaller and 9 is greater the second example of fraction is an improper fraction which is where the numerator is larger than the denominator and its value is greater than 1. As you can see in the example, the numerator is 7 and the denominator is 4. If we we'll divide them, the answer will be greater than 1. What is a mixed number? Mixed numbers uh, is a combination of a whole number and a fraction part combined together. Example can be seen in front of you, one whole number, three upon four. One is a whole number that can be represented as full picture colored and three upon four can be represented as three parts colored out of four. Therefore, the graphic representation of one whole number, three upon four mixed number can be seen in front of you, which can be transformed into a mixed or improper number, which is seven upon four. Now let's see how we came up across 7 upon 4. First of all, we have to follow three steps. In example, you can see the first step is multiply the denominator value with the whole number part. Therefore, 3 is our whole number part, 1 is our numerator and 5 is our denominator. We have color coded them so that you can easily understand what is going on. The first step is you need to multiply the denominator value with the whole number part. Therefore, 5 is your denominator and whole number part is 3. You need to multiply 5 with 3 which will be equal to 15. The second step is add the value of the above calculation with the numerator. So therefore, 5 multiplied by 3 is 15 will be added with 1 and you will get 16. Through this example, you will get a new numerator which will be equal to 16. Third step is this will eliminate the whole number part and then there will be left only a new numerator with the same denominator. Now you can see by doing this practice 5 multiplied by 3 plus 1 we will get a new numerator this will eliminate 3 and now we got a mixed number out of improper fraction. Now let's do some practice questions so that you can understand more of these one. The first example is 3 whole number 5 upon 11. In this one the first step is we need to multiply the denominator with the whole number part and then the answer is 33. We have to add this 33 sum with 5 to get the new numerator which will be 38 upon 11. Do remember one thing here, the denominators will never change, only the numerator will be changed or and the whole number will be evolved into a new numerator. Another example is in front of you, 7 whole number 1 upon 5. In this example, first of all we will multiply the denominator with the whole number part which is 5 multiplied by 7 is 35. Then we will add this calculation with 1 and you will get your new numerator which is 36 upon 5. Now let's see the second part of this uh, video which is how to convert improper fraction into mixed number. We have also few steps for that but let's see the example first. In this example you can see the question is 7 upon 4. The first step is that we need to divide the numerator by the denominator. So 7 is our numerator and 4 is our denominator. Therefore 7 will be divided by 4. So 4 1 times 4, the remainder is 3. So the second step is write down the whole number result. The, the quotient will become your whole number part. Then the remainder will be used as your new numerator. 3 was your remainder, it will convert into your numerator of the fraction part and the denominator will always remain the same, hence it was 4 before the, in the improper fraction and it will remain 4 in the mixed number part. Let's explain this example one more time. 7 divided by 4 will be written as 4 
divided by 7. 4, 1 times 4, 3 will be your remainder. 1 is your quotient which will be written as whole number part. 3 is your remainder which will convert into your numerator part of the fraction. And then the denominator which is your divisor at the uh, outside of the divising part will become your denominator. Hence our mixed number will uh, uh, come out which is one whole number 3 upon 4. Let's do some example of this one. Do remember one thing, right fraction, uh, it will the always will be equal to greater than 1. So let's prove them. 25 upon 8 will be equal to 3 whole number 1 upon 8. 8 times 3 is 24, 1 is your remainder, remainder will be your numerator, 3 is your quotient and 8 is your <coughs> denominator it will remain the same in another example 19 upon 7 7 will be your divisor 9 is your dividend therefore our answer would be 7 times 2 14 remainder 19 minus 14 will be 5 therefore 5 would be your numerator and 7 will again remain remain the same which is your denominator and in this way you can convert the improper fraction equal into mixed numbers therefore they are all equal greater than 1. How 3 is larger than 1, 2 is larger than 1, therefore this fraction is e greater than 1 in the naming and mixed number part. So I hope you've understood the two concepts of the mixed numbers and the improper fraction conversion. Thank you so much.